Theo Braunschweig has recently launched three umbrella research initiatives to guide the research going on at our university. The first one is named the Future City. The second one focuses on mobility. And the third one deals with the area around infectious disease and drug research. Our faculty, consisting of the departments of architecture, civil engineering and environmental sciences, is focusing on the Future City Initiative. The core mission is to develop solutions for the sustainable and livable city of the future. In workshops and conferences, our faculty has developed five branches. The convertible city, the digital city, the well-connected city, the healthy city and the sustainable city. As the habitat of the majority of the world's population, cities are key to the sustainability of our collective futures. We believe that we architects and engineers, as shapers of the physical environment and to a large extent shapers also of the patterns of movement and usage of space, have much to contribute to the overall well-being of our communities. For the university's Future City Initiative, we are investigating many different aspects of challenges in sustainable development. This encompasses environmental, economical, cultural and social concerns and is done in an interdisciplinary cooperation. The projects itself are transdisciplinary in content and regarding the methods. The single projects bring together architectural designers, urban planners and different engineering disciplines with natural, environmental and social scientists. This assignment has four parts. In the first part, you will introduce your hometown, be it a city, a town or a village. In the second part, you are asked to research various existing criteria for sustainable cities, like the LEED system in the US, or the DNGB in Germany, or the BREEAM in the UK. Or you could define a system or criteria by yourself. The third part consists of analysis in which you compare the conditions in your hometown against your research into the sustainability criteria. And finally, in the fourth part, you are asked to present your personal future vision for your city. As you research, consider your own context hometown and also the general question of what good city means to you. This leads to the last creative part of the assignment, the vision. Using your research, come up with your own criteria of what makes for real sustainability for the future of your own hometown and make a proposal. But notice, this is just a week-long assignment, so the ideas do not need to be fully worked out. But come up with new and interesting ideas, be it policy or design, that might be implemented to make your city or town more sustainable by your own judgment. We ask that this last part, the vision, be presented as a single large image, accompanied by a paragraph of explanation. We want to collect all your inputs, hopefully from all kinds of interesting places, and assemble the work into a booklet or an atlas with all your suggestions and ideas complied into an extended toolbox of locally developed sustainability criteria. We will put this atlas and extended toolbox together into a document available online so that you can see what novel, unconventional ideas your peers all over the world have come up with. And who knows, perhaps your local planning office will take notice and put your ideas into practice. That should be interesting, no?